As Canada wrestles with its approach to the migrant crisis in Europe, a new exhibition is reminding people here of what the country has and can do to help those abroad. It's housed in a large, colorful truck that's rolled onto the campus of Carleton University. And it carries a lot of information and inspiration for students who want to help solve some of the world's biggest problems. Sandra Abma explains. Sitting on a busy lot on the Carleton campus, it's the Together Truck, parked here temporarily by the Aga Khan Foundation. The brightly colored tractor trailer invites the curious to come on board and take a look. Inside, it's an immersive, expansive exhibition about global development. Hands-on displays break down complex issues such as world poverty, access to health care, education and clean water into easily understood concepts. It's really cool. I said like it's a museum on wheels, um, but it's neat that it's just right here on campus and you can go. And it's really interactive, which is really neat to see. Here, students can share their own thoughts on how to improve the world each leaf an idea or word of encouragement. Or they can hear the stories of real people, Canadians who have made a difference. The exhibition is designed to show young people that although the problems may be big, small actions can have huge impacts. Here we have uh, this gentleman who is a volunteer. Stephanie LaRock is the exhibition's tour manager. That's why we visit a lot of the high school and colleges and universities because these guys are the future generation and we believe that if we can get a lot of people uh, inspired to take action, well, we're just going to have a better world. The Together Truck is driving these ideas across the country and students are listening. I think we're all agents for change. It's just a matter of coming together and working together. The Together Truck is here at Carleton University until 5 o'clock tomorrow. Then it's on the road again, making stops at campuses across the country until the end of October. Sandra Abma, CBC News, Ottawa.